It was a dark and stormy night, and Mary was home alone in her cozy little house. She had always been a curious girl, and she couldn't resist the temptation to explore the dark and mysterious corners of her home. As she made her way through the creaky old house, she heard a strange noise coming from the attic. It sounded like a faint whispering, and Mary couldn't help but feel a creeping sense of dread wash over her. Despite her fear, Mary was determined to find out what was making the noise. She slowly made her way up to the attic, and as she pushed open the door, she was greeted by an otherworldly sight. There, standing in the center of the room, was a figure with horns on its head and a tail swishing behind it. It was a devil, and it was staring right at Mary with glowing red eyes. Mary tried to scream, but no sound escaped her lips. She was frozen in fear, unable to move or even think. The devil seemed to be beckoning her closer, and Mary found herself being drawn towards it against her will. But just as she was about to be consumed by the devil's darkness, Mary snapped out of her trance and ran as fast as she could out of the attic and out of the house. She never looked back, and she never spoke of what she saw that night again. After her terrifying encounter with the devil in the attic, Mary was too scared to go back after again. She tried to put the incident out of her mind and go about her life as usual, but she couldn't shake the feeling that the devil was still there, waiting for her. One day, Mary decided to try and confront her fear and bring her friends to the attic to show them the devil. She thought that maybe if she had some backup, she would feel braver and be able to finally put the experience behind her. As they made their way up to the attic, Mary's heart was racing and her palms were sweaty. She was terrified of what they might find, but she was determined to face her fear head on. When they opened the door to the attic, however, there was no sign of the devil. The room was empty, and all that remained was a musty old smell and the faint whispers of the wind. Mary's friends were confused and disappointed, and they couldn't understand why Mary had been so scared. They chalked it up to her overactive imagination and left the attic, leaving Mary alone with her thoughts. But Mary knew that the devil had been there, and she couldn't shake the feeling that it was still watching her, waiting for the right moment to strike again. Despite the fact that the devil didn't appear when Mary brought her friends to the attic, Mary couldn't shake the feeling that it was still there, lurking in the shadows. She was determined to prove to her friends that what she had seen was real, so she continued to visit the attic in the hopes of catching another glimpse of the devil. One night, as Mary and her friends were exploring the attic again, they heard the same faint whispering that Mary had heard on the night of her initial encounter. This time, However, the whispers were louder and more distinct, and it was clear that they were coming from the dark corner of the room. As they approached the source of the noise, the whispers became louder and more frenzied, and Mary's friends began to feel a sense of panic wash over them. Suddenly, the devil emerged from the shadows, its red eyes glowing with malevolent intent. Mary's friends screamed and ran, but Mary stood her ground. She knew that the only way to defeat the devil was to face it head on, and she was determined to do whatever it took to protect her friends and banish the evil spirit from their home. In the end, Mary's bravery and determination paid off, and she was able to banish the devil back to the underworld where it belonged. From the day on, the attic was quiet and peaceful, and Mary's friends finally believed her when she told them about her encounter with the devil. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell. So whenever I post a video, you will be the first to watch it.